Hey, Beb. What's your opinion on Finn McKinsey? Oh, no comment. Uh, <laughs> other than his music taste and opinion, really good garbage. Garbage. Other than that, I'm disappointed that it's another YouTuber that I can no longer watch. Another one bites the dust. Who got son? <laughs> Old fact boy. <laughs> Anyways, peaches, welcome, welcome back to my channel. Today, I'm kind of diving into different topic than I usually make videos about. This is somewhat akin to the video I made about the established title scam a few months back. The reason why I'm saying it's similar, even though it isn't about a scam, it is to do with YouTube drama. How I came across this issue with Finn McKinty, punk rock dad of the internet. Punk rock, am I right? This creator's name is Dan Frampton. He has been making low-key, not aggressive videos about Finn or other musicians, but they have been confrontational and they've been getting more and more confrontational as of late and he did this one video reading tweets about Finn and a lot of it had to do with his wife who is a content creator just like me and she does far right content she just did a video about how she's afraid that her son is going to be woke, which is just astoundingly stupid. And she's a grifter. I'm not going to say anything more about her. And I'm not going to use the word allegedly because, honey, you are a grifter. And Finn has tried to take a very centrist view of his channel. I thought he had leftist viewpoints for the most part just he seemed to not be extremely unsupportive of gay rights and women now knowing his wife's really weird viewpoints i feel the red flags i ignored about finn are starting to click like his video about having hot girls at the front in bands which kind of read as low-key misogynistic and i think i remember his chat was even kind of saying that but he was just digging his heels in as well as his video about japanese metal he just came across as really kind of xenophobic and dismissive which was kind of gross also he doesn't like system of a down i should have known from then he should not be trusted so basically these tweets were about his wife and then referred to finn as a groomer and calling her his child bride because apparently there is a significant age gap in that relationship and i've also found sources that he met her when she was 17 years old which if that's true that is gross that is disgusting honestly that a grown man would pray on a high school girl. It is a phenomenon that is unfortunately all too common, one that I have been a victim of in the past by groomers. And if that is true, if he met his wife when she was a minor, that's disgusting. Disgusting! The whole drama though was in Dan's video, he was showing these tweets, and this video for him went pretty viral for a channel of his size. It was getting close to 35, 40,000 views, which I've had a video do that well, and I was blown 
away. So I could only imagine how he would feel. And all of a sudden he gets a little email from YouTube that says he made a, a privacy concern with his video, which is funny to me because all of what was shared in tweets is public discourse about public people. His wife is a public figure, as is Finn, obviously. So a privacy complaint, I feel that is the most ridiculously astounding thing to ledge against Dan, especially because there wasn't a privacy issue involved. Now, if he said like bullying or harassment, now that's bullshit too, but that's way more understandable than privacy complaint. But Dan is the bigger man and he deleted the video and he's not gonna re-upload it, which I personally am saddened that he's not. I think he should, but it's Dan's channel, Dan's choice. I just watched this recent video of his and it describes sort of the end of the drama and how he's not going to make another Finn McKinty video because Finn reached out to him in the DMs. And again, Dan is not sharing the DMs, which I think is very valid, but the little drama gremlin in me would really like to see them just out of pure morbid curiosity what kind of person is Finn behind closed doors. And from what Dan shared, directly quoting Dan, that he didn't seem mentally or emotionally stable to have this discourse lodged against him, which I just think is so funny that he's concerned about a small YouTuber and sharing what is very public tweets. It shows the kind of person Finn is, and that is not someone who I want to watch anymore. I used to watch Finn. I found him through the punk rock NBA channel, I think a year or so ago, and I liked it, his stuff. I really enjoyed his strange history of x band, whether that was Red Hot Chili Peppers, or the Deftones, or Paramore, or, or even his video about Guitar Hero. That was one of my personal favorites as someone that grew up playing Guitar Hero and Rock Band. That was kind of like a trip down memory lane for me. I started watching his just self-titled channel, Finn McKinty, and I definitely got some bad vibes from that. It's hard to put into words, but basically he seemed the embodiment of this meme right here, this Steve Buscemi meme of hello fellow children. He seems like an older man who's so hot, like clinging, deathly clinging onto his youth and being, as he's positioned himself, big head of hardcore and punk. And yeah, I don't really have so much to say on that, except I'm done with Finn McKinty and his channel. I'm no longer subscribed. And I definitely think if you are still subscribed to Finn, any of his channels, the Punk Rock MBA or his self-titled or his podcast, I wanna ask why I would implore you to think about unsubscribing. Anyways, Peaches, that was it. I hope this video does somewhat well, dipping my little pinky toe into the drama. That's not even really drama since Dan has squashed it. But I just want to say, if you're looking for a Finn McKinty adjacent channel to support, 
go check out Dan. He is great. Stay peachy. Stay hydrated. Have a great rest of your day.